These elusive creatures peeking their way through the undergrowth are mountain bongos. The white-striped, spiral-owned and coppery-red forest antelopes can only be found in the wild in Kenya. And they are even a rare sight here. They are now the subject of a massive conservation exercise. Mordecai Ogada has spent years studying the mountain bongos. The mountain bongo is a very special species and it's endemic to Kenya, highly endangered, less than 100 individuals known to be left out in the wild. And this, this uh, program is, is very important. That's why this species is really important, especially because of the habitat in which it lives, which is uh, water catchment area, highland forests. The mountain bongos have been driven to near extinction, according to conservationists. The animals have been hunted for their bushmeat and for their prized coat, skull and carved horns. The fascination with that species led people to hunt it. These are sport hunters, and it also led to animal capture and trade, which, which happened with a lot of bongos being captured from here and being traded to zoos, particularly in the United States. Over the last 17 years, the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy has grown the number of the animals to 77, with plans to release 25 more into the sanctuary. So the bongo that are coming back from zoo where the veterinary and husbandry is very different. It is a very sanitized environment. When they come back here, they need a very long time to be able to uh, acclimatate and it takes several generations. I think the objective here is not captivity but to bolster wild populations and, and rewild them and reintroduce them into this country. But the bongo's habitat is disappearing fast due to illegal logging and growing human populations.